The New Zealand Navy has started distributing humanitarian aid to the people of Tonga following last weekend's volcanic eruption and tsunami. The UN estimates that more than 80% of Tonga's population has now been affected. That's about 84,000 people. At least three have died. The UN says they remain seriously concerned about access to safe water for some 50,000 people throughout the country, with many areas still coated in a thick layer of volcanic ash. New Zealand's Defence Minister, Apine Hanare, says the Navy ships have arrived in Tonga just in time. That was one of the challenges with the uh, poor communication lines between here and Tonga. Uh, making sure that we could respond in a timely manner has proven difficult, but I am proud that two of our vessels are there now uh, and that a third has already set sail uh, early hours uh, of this morning here in New Zealand to make sure that they can continue to respond to Tonga's need at this time. Our Navy divers and uh, the hydrographic equipment uh, on the ground or at least under the water has shown that the um, uh, ports as well as the ship lanes are open. Uh, they've been unaffected by uh, the eruption uh, and the tsunami. So that's good news for relief ships that are coming into Tonga. Uh, on the ground, however, we have um, uh, air, uh, reports of certain areas having quite thick ash and others with just a bit of a light dusting. Uh, what's also become quite clear now, though, is that infrastructure and in particular uh, agricultural soils have now been contaminated by salt water. Uh, and this is going to be a significant issue as we look towards uh, supplying more food and more water to Tonga in these immediate weeks, uh, but will need to be remediated for the long term.